Hi guys, it's just about to strike 12 lunchtime. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this bit short. Try and keep this bit short. I'm going to pass some time by uh, taking that bike down and beating on that seat post to see if I can free it off. Because my cousin is after a bike. Uh, oh, pardon me, so. That would be, if I can get the seat to go down, he's about my height, so if I can get the seat to go all the way down, I've got a bike there for him, so. Um, if not, it's just going to have to end up reluctantly as a parts bike. Uh, and the other thing I'm planning on doing as the sun is shining again is to, uh, hang out an itch. Uh, I'm going to wait until 2 o'clock when Mum finishes work because I don't know what she's doing, if she's going to go straight home or whatever. Uh, then after that, we're going to go on a little bike ride. Just for something a bit different. Different, you know, change of scenery and whatnot. So, this camera's not actually going to go in my pocket. I'm going to have to... Uh, find something I can put it in. I've got a little like, um, you know, one of them fanny packs or whatever you call them, bum bags, pouches, things that go around your waist. I did have one of those somewhere. I'm not actually sure where it went. <laughs> um, I've got a feeling it's in that box down there. That's my feeling. Uh, so I'll have to dig that out, put that on, and put the camera in there. I'm going to take my um, other camera as well, so I can take some still photographs. Because I'm in that mood. I keep saying I'm going to do these things, and I keep putting it off. Can't be bothered, can't be bothered. So uh, I'm going to be bothered. Uh, where I want to go isn't too far from here. It's probably... mile and a half, couple of miles, but the uh, majority of that is uh, cross country, cross fields and whatnot, on public footpaths of course. So uh, that is my plan, but like I said I've got some time to kill so I'm going to go and try and kill a seat post. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking I could take my toolbox down and strip out that suspension bike out front. And then that can lay on the trailer ready to go down to the tip. Oh, out of my way. Uh, yeah, right, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put this uh, Canon camera. Ooh. You can plug an external mic into this one. That might come in useful. <laughs> I could do with a digital camera like this one with said mic input. It's got a headphone jack on it as well. Mm. Yeah, something tells me that wasn't a cheap um, video camera when that was new. But now look at them, this one's actually quite small, you know, they've shrunk quite a lot. Can't believe how much they managed to shrink these VHS ones, look at that, compared to that. So I'm guessing that one's got to be around the early 2000s. I might actually Google the model numbers if I get bored later. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off, so next time you see me, I should be in the middle of the great Norfolk countryside. Change of plans because I got distracted. <clears throat> and it's now getting a bit late, so... What I'm going to do, I'm going to do some more work on the rally over there. Just for a little while, it's actually nearly five o'clock. Um, I've done a separate video regarding my mail because I received uh, 
the clear my chest and my throat because I received two parcels and a letter but uh, because I was testing the video games that went on for quite a while I decided to do that as a separate video so that's all edited 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 <laughs> we'll try again that is all edited up ready to go live may do it before this one might do it after I upload this one I haven't decided yet uh, As you might be aware, I claim ESA, which stands for Employment and Support Allowance. It's uh, different to Job Seekers Allowance. Because um, uh, you get a lot more support with ESA, depending on what you're on. Now, I was on work based, I think. I think I've got the letter here. I can't show you the letter because it's got some personal info on it. You know, like my full address and some other personal information on there. I was on, yeah, I think it's sort of like, I think they called it Work Related Activity Group. That's what they called it. Um, however, Because of a form I had to fill in about a month and a half ago, maybe even be two months ago, I can't remember. Um, and I sent off, I didn't even know what it was for. I thought they just wanted some extra information, but I just filled it in, sent it off. Um, and I got this letter today from the Department of Work and Pensions. And it's basically saying that uh, I've gone from being on the work related activity group to the support group <coughs> because of my Asperger's syndrome um, which also means what I get goes up as well so I was getting a hundred pounds a week bang on when you're on the support group you get a hundred and twenty one thirty five uh, and I get that from the 29th of April this year so when I, the money goes in tonight, I should actually see, should see, a bit extra in there. So, uh, yeah, good news for a change. That's the one I think I should have been put on in the first place, but I wasn't. But I think, because I claimed ESA before my diagnosis was official. That's probably why they stuck me on the work related group rather than the support group. But uh, yeah, they've um, obviously looked through that form and thought, right, we've got him on the wrong one here. We'll change it. Because I could have filled in a form to get them to change it, according to my job centre advisor. But that might also be why I haven't heard from the job centre for the last couple of months. Because they were trying to get me on a um, work placement, work experience placement. Um, that might be why maybe my advisor has held off from doing that because of this reason. I don't know. <sighs> but uh, yeah, that's a bit of good news. I'll be getting a little bit extra. That's always uh, never a bad... Why is this looking so dark? It's because of yeah, it's because I'm pointing it at the light. You'd have thought that would have um, helped, but no. Nope. Yeah. Anyway, my um, games arrived, so all the games I've bought previously have arrived. That was my temporary get-up, so I could uh, point the camera at the TV, so I could show them working. Um, <clears throat> there was one that was a bit temperamental. I think it was the Lotus one. I actually really did have to give it a blow and uh, push it in hard <coughs> to get it to work. Typical cartridge games, really. If you don't get the connections right. There's one of these Master System ones that came up software error at first as well, but I took it out, gave it a blow, put it back in, and uh, 
I'm gonna put the dust cover back and put it back in and it worked so you know I've got the socket doesn't look broken in here but I think the solder joint has worked a bit loose so I may have to just pop this open and re-dab the solder joints on the power socket preferably before it does break Itch. It's driving me nuts. I don't think I'll be uh, going to mum's tomorrow because she's got dentist at 3.30 uh, so it may not actually be until Sunday because I don't uh, I suppose it depends how she feels Friday on whether she goes into work or not. <sighs> oh yeah. Mama's nice. I've got to pay her back though, but... I've got a new t-shirt because I need one. And well, I need several. I need jeans as well, but I can't find jeans my size. In charity shops for shit. What did you get these? <laughs> They're all coming up very well on screen, aren't they? There we go. Now, I had a version of these many, many, many years ago that um, had a normal bulb in. These have got LEDs, red LEDs. I thought they would have had them white as um, they've got an amber lens on them, but no. The Chinese manufacturers that ripped these off decided to uh, put a red LED. And they meant... They well, I can hear a helicopter. That sounds rather like... The air ambulance flying around. It is. He's low. He's going to land. Where is he? Where are you, bugger? Is he going to land? Sun's too bright, I can't see stuff. Oh, I think he was over that way. I'm just listening to see if he comes round again. Possibly, possibly not. Anyway, you know, these are what I call the breakdown lights. You're supposed to stick them out on the road as a warning. I think many years ago I got them off the town's market. And all you do is uh, slide this little neck down. And it starts flashing. Yeah, I thought so. They're a lot better at night. And they just stand like that. Simple as that. Quite flimsy plastic, though, these legs. But yeah, the ones I had originally, they flashed amber because they only had a, you know, normal bulb in there, filament bulb. But these are different. Not only are these actually lighter, because I believe the original ones had batteries going up this whole stem. This has just got a little button cell at the top here. And, uh, I don't know if it's replaceable. I don't know if you can... It looks like, to me, you put something in the back little hole there and just push the battery out. That's what it looks like. And then just slot a new one in. Oh. 
and this one's decided it doesn't want to work. Oh, it just sort of just suddenly started to work. <coughs> I bet they're a lot more effective at night. Yay! Right, a couple of DVDs in that bag as well. Okie dokie! And just to turn them off, you literally just slide it back up. No idea how the switch, how that works, because I can't... See, it doesn't come on until it locks into place. But I don't see no metal contact, so no idea how that works. And they just fold up like that, chuck them in the back of your car. Or wherever. Glove box maybe. It's just a modern take. Basically it is just a modern take on um, something I bought years ago. I don't even know what happened to the original ones. Heck, I mean, I bought the ones I had, I bought. <sighs> got to be almost 20 years ago. And like I said, they've just done a cheaper knockoff version nowadays. Right. Let me shut the camera off. I'm gonna sort a seat for that. Sort a seat. See if I can get that handlebar changed as well. Uh, so if we I've actually noticed it's got odd cranks as well. The left side, where the hell am I? Here we go. The left side doesn't match the right side. They're different. So I'm going to see if I can rectify that as well. I hope. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back later. Sorry, wrong way. <coughs> Try again. I thought the idea of updates for any piece of software be it Windows updates which it's now doing or when Firefox updates or whatever it's supposed to you know fix bugs make it work a bit better you know hence updates not fucking break it because ever since Mozilla Firefox last updated on my PC, it's been nothing but a pain in the frickin' ass. I'm actually having to restart because it froze on me again. And I wasn't doing anything except for scrolling down Facebook, just watching random videos that popped up in my feed. And it just kept freezing. I couldn't do anything. It would un only unfreeze for literally just a matter of a few seconds and freeze again. So I had to close the Firefox window and then it wouldn't reopen. So uh, I'm having to reboot. But it does tend to piss you off that you know they release these updates to fix things and half the time they end up making things work worse than they did before. <sighs> Yep, we'll just set a Marit's Chariots bus and go around the corner. 
It's not often you see them around at this time of day. They do the school runs. I don't know if Mount's Chariots do anything else. Well, I presume they do, otherwise I wouldn't be able to run the business, would they? I can't rely on uh, the school runs. I want to know what bloody car's hat it is. Because it's got one hell of a loud dump valve on it. And that just now sounded like it's got one hell of a beefy exhaust on it as well, so I'm guessing it's not standard. And uh, I still haven't decided what I want to do with this one yet. It is tempting to keep it. And there's a little bit of spring in there, by the way. I checked them when I was downstairs. I just need some oil or something down them. I am tempted to keep it. I am just going to revamp the brakes on this. I'm going to put some better looking um, cantilever brakes on, better bridges, better reflectors. Because I think this actually um, deserves to have a bit of a, a bit of um, work done on it. It's deserving, I think, because the frame. The frame's showing age, but you know, it's not past use, it needs a clean. Mm. It's got a worn out sticker down. Oh! Came from Chroma originally. What's that one? Norfolk Cycle Centre. Oh, hello. Perhaps this was a second hand bike from one of these. Because it's got another business one here. It's got one down there. Oh, chromoly. It's a chromoly frame. Not chroma. Duh. That's still come from Norfolk, though. I doubt the cycle shop this came from is still in existence, though. Might Google it just for the sheer hell of it. I tell you, I'm, uh, gonna... That bridge is actually okay. It's just done that in bolt, but... And I've got some good cable bridges. Wheel bearings are loose, they just need tightening up. Um, bottom bracket bearings, I'm not sure on yet. I'm going to put a bolt cage on it. Those look like the original bolts. Yeah, I'll give it a general uh, tidy up. Pardon me. May even get rid of the flaky paint on here and uh, give that a recoat as well. Uh, well, probably at some point. <laughs> to change the seat because if I kept it myself, I'm not riding it with that. I don't even think that's the original seat, to be honest. I think that's a different one. But I'm gonna f I know I've got some more comfortable ones somewhere. Shut up. <laughs> so, what's my next job? Sort these handlebars out because they're starting to annoy me. Oh. Okay, well that's going to be easy. I don't have to use my flathead screwdriver technique. For some reason I thought I did. I bet the other one's not loose though, is it? Oh, it is. Oh. I could have swore they were on there tight. I'm trying to do it one-handed and it isn't really working. There we go. So it's just a case of uh, undo the brake levers, undo the gear shifter, slide them off. Should be a 6mm hex there I've got to undo. I don't remember where my 6mm is. Brakes function fine, but I've got best set in there, so... I even swapped them, it's just the brake pads or the brake blocks are not better in those ones so I've got to take these brake blocks off, put in those ones and put those ones on here with some better bolts as well I think I know I've got some of them kicking around so uh, yeah quite looking forward to getting it up and on the road actually then I might uh, Whichever one I decide to keep out of my two rally mountain bikes, because I think this one would actually be a better option for off-road, to be honest. It's a bit sturdier than my old Claude Butler. That, and I don't really want to go bashing my Claude Butler off-road. 
so I'm sort of glad, glad in a way I postponed going out on that ride today. So if I can get this one done f first, stupid bloody dove. What do you bloody boot up? Right. Do you know I haven't played on the PS3 for about two weeks now? Anyway. Just being nosy. I'm going to turn the camera off and, uh, I don't know, I might have the brakes apart on it. Oh no. Do the handlebar, then I'll have the brakes apart. Now, I know where my 5mm hexagon key is, I've just got to find my 6mm. Well, I've been a bit busy with this bike. The um, horseshoe bit here for the cantilever brake, um, I've painted black. And I decided while I was uh, going over that, I did scrape off all the loose paint first, which was a majority of it. Pretty much all of it from the top down to about here, both sides. <laughs> um, then I just went over the handlebar quickly and the stem. Went round these quickly. I'm a spider. Fuck off. <laughs> round that cup there as well, just to tidy it up. That's why I took the brakes off. But uh, I'm going to put these ones on, not the originals. There's nothing wrong with the originals. I do have a bike I can put those on, but I want to put these on. So I'm going to put these on. Not those brake blocks, though. I'm going to reuse the brake blocks that were there, because I know they work fine on these rims. So, excuse me. The jobs I've got left to do. Clean both wheels up. Clean the frame up, get the brakes on. I might put the brake on tonight, I don't know. At least the rear brake. I can't do the front because paint is still sticky. So I'll wait till uh, tomorrow. So I think I'm going to save my little jaunt across public footpaths till I've got this one done. Uh, and I'll use this one, I'll use something with a bit of a uh, rigidity to it. Oh, I've wd 40 the forks. They're soaking, so with a bit of luck, well actually if I leave it for an hour and come back and just push down on them, that should loosen them up. There was movement, but it was very sort of jerky movement, and uh, yeah, it was about it. It was just jerky movement, so there's no rust underneath. The rubber gaiters there so I think they've just the springs just need a bit of a free up so WD 40 and I may squirt a little bit of oil down them tomorrow as well so oh the other thing I did when I put the seat post in I don't know if you can actually see it oozing out the top there I just put a layer of grease over the seat post so I've just got that bit to clean up as well and I'll just help it from or help prevent it from seizing in in the future. <clears throat> That's the uh, reason I did that. Right. I wasn't going to, but I think I will, just because it'll be one less job to do. I'll at least bolt these bits to the rear of the bike. I'm going to change the bolts as well. I'm going to use... Um, the hexagonal ones, the Allen key ones, I should say. Because um, there, there was just 10 mil bolts on there, but yeah, I'm going to change them because I prefer the look of the um, Allen key ones. Have I got them in the top of this one? No. Don't matter, I've got some clean ones in my tub down there where I threw them when I was cleaning up the other day. It's not in that one either. <laughs> so my cable adjusters. these. A nice short one. It's another nice short one. <laughs> yeah, so you've got plenty of clean ones in there. Like I said, I've got several in the bottom of that as well that are nice and clean. But uh, this is what was holding them in originally. I just thought it'd be a nice change. Like I said, I actually prefer the look of these. Well, I've got no. I've got some... Um, 
horseshoe brakes in here, whatever you call them. Caliper brakes, I don't know, those on the bridges. Uh, I don't actually know why I keep half of them, because most of them are rusty, but never mind. Anyway, I'm going to um, probably just do a little bit of work on this, and uh, I'll be back, I don't know, about half an hour or so. <clears throat> it's now almost quarter to midnight. Just waiting, waiting for half twelve to get here. Uh, then I can pay my phone bill. And for those games I won, <clears throat> uh, just making some room so I can get to the bed. <laughs> And then I'm gonna piss off to bed after that. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I would have gone gone to bed before I just sorted it all in the morning, but I did say after midnight tonight I'd make payments. So, and uh, I do like to. Uh, <coughs> Do my best to keep to my word. So I've just eaten and drank and whatnot. So I've got. I don't know. Every time I eat, I just get a build up of bloody shit in my throat and whatnot. It pisses me off. But, uh, I had chips, beans, and uh, ham. So I'm just going to sit this in here. <clears throat> uh, so I thought I'd just turn the camera on for a bit. And, uh, the other thing I've been doing is a bit more work on this. I've got the new rear brake bits on. Some sort of fly or something buzzing around my light. Uh, I've got all that painted up, done the handlebars, done round the um, securing nuts. This has got two nuts on it for some reason. Oh, actually, no, this bottom one's for the top bearing cam. Duh. Uh, anyway, she's getting there. The, so the soaks have been forking. The soaks have been forking. Really? Hmm. I'll try that again. The forks have been soaking in WD-40. <clears throat> I thought I might as well use up what I've got. I've got to get a new can anyway. If I remember, I'll grab a can tomorrow. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I think I overate a little bit. I feel a bit bloated. <clears throat> anyway, so I won't be going to Mum's tomorrow because she's got dent dentist appointment. Um, she's not sure if she's having one, two or three teeth out. That will depend on the dentist tomorrow. On how many they want to pull. The stupid thing is, as the dentist has said, her teeth are absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with the teeth. But Mum's always had trouble with her gums. Gum infections and whatnot. And uh, gingivitis. And... Uh, what they call them? I can't remember what it's called when you get the big infection on the side of your face and you have to pop it and uh, I can't remember what it's called at the minute I'll come to me later <clears throat> um, but uh, it seems like the gums are now affecting her teeth so probably won't be long before she has um, false dentures fitted uh, but the stupid thing is she has cleaned her teeth, brushed her teeth, every day since I can remember. Once every day. I don't think she's barely ever missed a day. And she's having all this trouble with her teeth. I might turn that fucking light off in a minute. That fly won't buzz round or whatever it is if I turn the light off. <clears throat> right. 
had to, I pulled apart one of those solar lights that keep turning off. And uh, I'll try and do this as quick as I can because I don't want to drag out the video. Here's the circuit board. I'm just going to... Um, I can't see my screen. Hang on. There we go. I'm just going to put the battery contact back in here. Just slides in there. Uh, doesn't look like that matters what way around it goes. <clears throat> now, the um, photo cell is actually embedded in here with the um, with the uh, solar cell, and I can't actually see it in there. So I don't actually know how they've done that. I was expecting to find a separate photo cell. Um, what you've seen me when I've covered the top of this, it's um, the lights come on when you cover the top. So I know for a fact the photo cell is in there somewhere. But when I put the battery in and I turn it on, See that, yeah. See, goes off. So I'll turn the switch off. Turn it back on. No, it's not going to do it now, is it? There we go. See that? <coughs> Excuse me. Which means the issue has to be, because there is only four components on this, if you look. You've got the LED, the switch, resistor, and this little four pin thing here. Oh, that's just come on. Why did... What? So this is the other thing, it does weird things. It randomly comes on and off like that as well. Uh, oh, it's not going to do it now. <laughs> I could easily solder the photo, the um, that bit back on. It just goes on there. So we turn off again. Turn on. Yeah, it's a dodgy chip. There is something wrong with these. <clears throat> There is a number printed on it, but I can't see it. Weird. Oh, I've got a bunch of these anyway I could use in something else. Got a decent LED. Got a AAA battery pack if I want it as well. Oops. <laughs> All for 79 pence, you know. Can't argue, can I? You know, I've got a solar cell and LED switch, I suppose, if I wanted to desolder it. Actually, reading that just reminded me. Um, there was a fatal uh, lorry accident today. A lorry overturned at about five o'clock this morning, and uh, 
sadly the driver didn't make it but uh, someone on I think it's give lorry drivers a break on that group um, started ranting wanting me to take down what I'd shared I'd just shared a news article like this well an update not this exact one because it had already been shared I shared an update saying that the um, M4 motorway will be prob probably be closed until tomorrow because of the cleanup. Um, and he was just ranting that shouldn't be posted, blah blah blah. Respect for the family, blah blah blah. Well, I didn't actually take the photo for one. It was just a news article, just like this one from ITV News, one of the biggest uh, news agencies over here. And uh, so I said that, you know, the media wouldn't be allowed to take photos like this until any deceased people have been removed from the accident scene. What dinky little spoiler down there, look. Where did he come from? <laughs> anyway. Um, so I don't see a pro you know I don't see a problem with photographing the aftermath so long as you're not there rubbernecking, taking photos of dead bodies. That's bloody wrong, personally. I've got video on my YouTube channel of um, traffic accidents I've been to, but if you watch them, I've always waited until all casualties have been taken away from the scene you know, just for their own dignity although that, I think the last one I went to that I took a camera to at least there were other people there with their bloody mobile phones you know these people are being cut out of their cars and they're there with a fucking mobile phone filming it you know that to me is disrespectful but the aftermath um, I don't see what the problem is I only film at well, you should probably know by now because I like the emergency services. I like things with blue flashy lights on it. If it's got blue flashing lights on it, I'm happy. Well, mostly because I like watching the fire service, but... There's something funny about that photo. On account of them, that cop and that lady don't have any legs. Abandoned places. That's what I want to go and look at in the woods that I want to go to. There's a little abandoned cottage in there. You ain't changed a bit from school, love. <laughs> she hasn't. She was in my year at school. Not in my class, but in my year. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the video because I haven't really done a lot and there's not a lot to talk about uh, I'll get this edited up and whatnot and put up tonight before I disappear to bed so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all tomorrow it's payday so should be doing something tomorrow. Should I might find some goodies. Mm. Might have a look in all sorts, see if I can find anything in there. Anyway, talk to you later.